Welcome back. Having scrumptious and savory food for your tailgate is a must. We all know this. Here to share some ideas with us for this weekend's big game is our good friend Christy Maggard from Good Foods Co-op. And Christy, always a pleasure to have Hi. you. Because you always oh. bring great food. Yes. These, blue, these solid blue chips want to want to fall they down. They do. Here. They want us to go ahead and get into them. Yeah, I know. And well, I, I kind of want to. I know. <laughs> I don't care what time it is. I'm always up for appetizers. Same here. And so what we've brought today is getting you ready for the big game on Saturday. Yes. A lot of people might be tailgating from 8 in the morning <laughs> till way past 8 at night uh -huh. when the game starts. When I start at 8 in the morning, <laughs> yes. I'm done by noon. But exactly. you got to sustain yourself with some food. We do. Yes, you yes. do. You do. I will be. Um, so a couple of things we're going to do, and these are all appetizers that you can make um, ahead of time, bake off, and then bring and put it in you know, a Pyrex desk or sure. something like that that keeps it hot. Okay. Of course, all this stuff is what we have at Good Foods. So one of the fun things that we're going to do, especially when you're starting at 8 a.m., uh -huh. might be a chicken and waffle Oh, mini fun. chicken and waffles. So all you're doing is you're going to toast your waffle like you would normally, and then you're just going to quarter it up, just like so. And then you're just going to take a piece of chicken. We've used um, Bell and Evans chicken, which is great. It's all natural. It's just got no preservatives, yeah. nothing in it that yeah. you wouldn't want in it. We're also going to take some jalapenos, and these are local. These are from Casey County. And you, did you know that jalapenos could be red? They could be red. They can I be learned something all today. different colors. And so we're actually going to put a jalapeno on there too. You, do, if you want, you can do um, just pickles. However, however, yeah, kind of give a little twist, extra kick. right? And then you're just going to take it. Use a bamboo skewer. And then the last little bit is to take a little bit of maple syrup, and you can just kind of drizzle it. Let's drizzle a little bit more. Drizzle it on top, and you've got kind of a sweet and savory yeah. tailgating item there for early in the morning. And I love that you don't, you're not actually cooking. Right. Both of these things you can find in the freezer section. Yes, it's kind of like little chicken minis or something that yeah. is so popular with kids at yes. Chick fil A or uh -huh. whatnot. So it's kind of our version of it. Very, good. very, very easy. Awesome. The next thing we're going to use is um, a lot of people love bacon. I mean, really? <laughs> exactly. So this is something that you want to make ahead of time. What you're going to do is you're going to take um, bacon, and we're using um, local bacon from Stone Cross Farms, and yeah. you're just going to cut it into thirds. And if you like to wrap your little, we're going to use hot dogs, but you can use um, those little, little smokies. smokies. Yeah. Yes, you can use, how, you know, cut your bacon however you want. And then you're going to want to cut your hot dogs. We are using some all-natural Applegate hot dogs Yum. that we sell at the co-op. And all you're going to do is just then wrap it up and use a toothpick. You're going to bake these in the oven for about 20 minutes uh, at 350. And all you're going to do is once you put them, I'm displaying them just here on a plate, but once you've put them in the oven like in a, in a Pyrex dish or whatever, mm -hmm. you sprinkle, sprinkle brown, brown cheese. Sugar. Or brown sugar. <laughs> brown cheese. <laughs> You don't want brown cheese, but brown sugar all over them, and they just toast up, and they're so good. Yes, this is okay. I make this for my coworkers for special occasions, yes. their birthdays, yes. and they love it. It's very, very easy. So we're suggesting using hot dogs. You can have them for mm -hmm. the grill if you're grilling on your sure. location, or wrap them in bacon. Like I said, sprinkle them mm. with brown sugar, and, and you're that's good a, to that's go. That's sweet and salty. Again, kind of like the chicken and waffles that everyone's gonna love. Exactly. And the other great thing about both of these is that there's no mayonnaise involved, and so oh, you're not gonna. Keep. It's gonna keep. It's not mm -hmm. gonna spoil. Luckily, the temperatures aren't gonna be too crazy on Saturday. But that's also got to be keep in mind that when you're bringing food out, you want to make sure that it's going to be safe. Exactly. Oh, well. Yeah. Then this last one, there was too much prep, so we couldn't do it on air. But this might be my new favorite thing. Oh, there there goes chips. Chips. Yes, exactly. They just want to be open. They so do. Let's, let's, let's go, go for it. This is a hot sausage beer cheese dip. It smells so and good. And what we've used is brown sausage, local brown sausage that you just want to brown in, the, in a skillet. And then you're combining um, grated cheese, cheddar cheese, and... Um, uh, Cream cheese and then a can of beer. Okay. And the beer I it, we're using that. is a West Six local IPA. Okay. So we encourage you to use a local beer and then you bake it 350 for 15, mm. 20 minutes and then you just top it with some green onions. Y'all, it smells so good. I, I just have to try it. <laughs> so, mmm. That beer comes out. Yeah. And this is so much easier than making actual beer cheese. Right. Well, that's that's exactly right. Because beer cheese does from take, scratch takes right. a while. And we encourage you that at, at the co-op we have so many local beer cheeses already mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. Come pick up that, pick up your chips and your beer. But if you wanted to make your own beer cheese, this has got a different kick to it, and especially with the sausage, it mm. makes it super fun. This is fantastic, Christy. Thank well, you good. so much for bringing well, this. Well, thank you. These are all really easy. We'll have them up on our website today so people can link to them and, and give some other ideas. Perfect. Sounds yes. great. Well, we're all ready for the game on Saturday. Thanks to you. Yes. And uh, we're going to be back and check in with Eric one more time out at WCYN Radio coming up after this.